I want to talk uh, today in the podcast about the um, the Christian roots of modern science, of the whole scientific method and the whole scientific outlook. Um, and um, so far, I've been focused on how Christianity has played a key role in a lot of the core concepts of uh, Western civilization, uh, the idea of human dignity, of human rights, of human equality, the affirmation of ordinary life, uh, the right of conscience, um, individualism, and so on. But now I want to talk to I want to talk about the issue of science. And this is an important issue because there are a lot of people who think that somehow science and Christianity are at odds. In fact, science and theism are irreconcilable, that there's a sort of a war between religion and science. Uh, as it turns out, this whole concept of a war between religion and science is, a, is an atheist invention of the late 19th century. It was devised in a series of polemical books that created a false impression that somehow religion and science have always been at each other's throat, so to speak. Uh, and that idea continues to resonate with some contemporary skeptics and atheists. Here's E.O. Wilson, uh, the Harvard biologist. He says there's a, quote, insoluble enmity between religion and science. Uh, several years ago, Time magazine had a cover story, God versus science. So that's you can see that that idea is still very much alive. But uh, as we think about it, right away there is a problem with it. And the problem is this. Science, as it turns out, uh, developed as an organized, sustained enterprise only once in human history. And where did it develop? Did it arise in um, the Far East, uh, Southern Africa? No, it arose in the West. It arose in Europe, the civilization then called Christendom. So the question then arises, why did science develop there and nowhere else? Now, in a speech that he gave in 2006, this was in Regensburg, Germany, uh, Pope Benedict, this is the, uh, the late Pope Benedict, uh, said that the reason science developed in Europe and in the West is because Christianity has from the beginning emphasized reason. And it's this idea I want to try to explicate. Um, the Pope's remarks, by the way, became controversial for other reasons. He made some remarks that had to do with Islam and the relationship between Christianity and Islam. But what I want to say is that an unbiased look at the history of science shows that modern science is an invention of medieval Christianity. The greatest breakthroughs in scientific reason have been made by Christians, by people who are very devout in their faith and their belief, and even atheist scientists today. They might reject the theism, they may reject the Christianity, but they work with Christian assumptions that are somehow hidden or invisible to them. Now, before science, there was the idea that uh, we live in a well, in an enchanted universe, a universe that is populated by spirits. And really, every, every rock, every river, every tree, every stone was thought to have a kind of spirit that was inhabiting it. Uh, the world was mysterious. It was capricious. It was unpredictable. It was uncontrollable. And then you had all these polytheistic religions, uh, the religions of the Babylonians, the religion of the, um, the pharaohs and the Egyptians, of the Greeks. And by and large, what you had is that these religions came up with divinities that were connected with nature. Uh, the god of the river, the god of hunting, the god of thunder, uh, the god of the forest, and so on. So you could almost say that gods were personifications of nature. Sometimes this is called animism. Then we had the great religions of the East, Hinduism and Buddhism, and of course the three monotheistic religions of the West, namely Judaism and Christianity and Islam. But only one of these, Christianity, is a religion that I would say is based, based on, on reason. And, and what, do I, what do I mean by this? Now, Judaism and Islam, which are the closest cousins, if you will, to Christianity, are religions of law. 
and law is a set of edicts. Do this, don't do that. Law is essentially a ju judicial command, uh, which is authoritative for human beings. Uh, in the case of Judaism, the law is applied to God's chosen people, namely the Jews. In the case of Islam, they supposedly apply to everyone. But in both cases, we're talking about divinely revealed and handed down laws. Humans are basically instructed to follow them. Uh, Jews and Muslims do have debates, but the debates are kind of about what these laws mean or what's the best way to interpret and apply these written codes. See, Christianity is not a religion of law. It's a religion of creed. And what do I mean by creed? I mean a set of professed beliefs. Uh, sometimes when people are talking about Hinduism, they'll say things like Hinduism is a way of life. And you say, well, what do you have to believe to be a Hindu? And they go, well, nothing. We don't have any creed. We don't have any set of beliefs that defines you as being a Hindu or not being a Hindu. Um, rather, if you live a certain way, um, uh, then you're, um, you're a Hindu just by virtue of your sort of customary practices. But Christianity is not like that. Christianity, by and large, holds that you believe in certain things. Um, the philosopher Ernest Fortin once said that while the highest discipline in Judaism and Islam is jurisprudence, the highest discipline in Christianity is theology.